really quick and fun, exciting announcement for you. So I get a lot of comments saying, Lauren, I love your videos, but I don't know what video to do and when. Well, I solved that problem for you. Every month, I'm going to make you a calendar that is going to give you tips, that is going to give you at-home workouts, and that's going to guide you through my YouTube video library. So all you have to do is go to my website, print out the calendar. I have a printable black and white version for you so that it's not going to take too much ink. Or you can even just look every day at my website or download the picture to your phone and it will guide you through and hopefully motivate and inspire you to do as many workouts as you can all throughout the month. So excited. Let me know in the comments below after you check out the calendar what you think, how I can make it better. I'm always willing to listen and hopefully we can work together to make this the most awesome thing ever. So go check it out. Link down below and let's start our workout. So for this workout, you're just going to want two, three, four, or five pound weights. We're going to start with warming up your body. Let's get to the back of the mat. Roll that body down. Give your legs a little bit of a shake and you're going to walk your hands out into your plank. So pull your abs in nice and tight. Push deeply away from that mat. Let's squeeze your inner thighs together and start to pull your knees right into your chest. At any time, if you need to modify, you're just going to drop to the tops of your thighs or you're going to drop to your forearms if your wrists start to feel tired. Pull in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's drop down to those forearms. Again, pushing away from the mat. Really breathing here, your long spine. My goal is for you to warm up and heat up that body. Make sure you're not sagging down, you're pushing away from that mat. We start to wiggle out those legs. Breathing here, alternating right and left. Try not to bounce the hips, so keep your hips nice, long, and stable. For three, for two, and one. Let's take some side planks here. Turn your right or left arm in. Reach the other arm up. Really keep that top hip nice and high, squeezing in that bottom oblique, and we're gonna breathe here for four, three, two, and one. You bring yourself back to center. Let's wiggle those knees, pushing through those heels, pressing through those forearms for five, four, three, two, and one. We turn our other arm in. You lift up that top arm, scooping your abs. Reach your fingers up nice and high for five, four, three, two, and let's bring it back to center, press up onto straight arms, you pull your knees in for one more set, hopefully your arms are starting to feel a little bit here, core starting to work, give me five, four, three, two, and one, walk your hands back to your feet, roll that body up, and you're going to grab your weights, I'm starting with my heavier set, if it gets too heavy I'm just going to drop down to my lighter set, arms are going to reach out and in, Think of maybe slightly bending your knees, sitting up nice and tall. If my pace is too fast, you can take it slow. If my pace is too slow, you can speed it up. Whatever feels good to you, make sure your shoulders stay down. Give me three more. Two and one. We're gonna switch right into triceps, pressing out and pulling in a nice long reach behind you. Chest is open, that's it. Big extension, big reach. Again, if it's too fast, slow it down. If it's too slow, speed it up. But I want you to keep working through it. For three, for two, and one. Roll your body up. Elbows in. We're going to reach out of alternating arms. Out and in, out and in again. Chest is open. Reaching long through those arms. Press and press. Maybe you can start to rotate your palms so you punch and twist. That's it. Punch and twist. Punch and twist to really reach that arm long and long. For three, two, and one. We hug our arms in. You take it back and in. Back to triceps. <sighs> Pressing long through those arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right. Final set. Pull those arms in. We go back to double arm. Take it out and in. Now if it gets too heavy, you can always alternate your arms. Gives your arm a little rest in between. If not, keep it going. Start to twist and punch those arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those arms right into your chest. We're going right into triceps. Big extension, big press. Take it out, out. Really press it and press for four. You got it, three, two, and one. Woo! 
All right, drop those arms. We're gonna do a little bit of balance work that's indirectly going to work your booty. So one leg is front, one leg is back. You're gonna hinge front over that leg. So let me just show you here. Hinging over the right or left leg, lift up your back leg, pull your abs in. You have an option to reach your arms behind you, really opening up that chest or take your hands on your hips. Now what I want you to think about is your supporting leg is bent and your back leg is extended nice and long. You press and you bend. You press and you bend. So think of your spine long, shoulder blades squeeze together. You can reach your arms behind you. You can tap your foot if you ever need to. But this is really working on your right hip and your right butt. If you have a wall that you want to hold on to, you can. But really try to challenge yourself here, pushing through that leg, pushing through that heel. Woo, my booty is feeling it. Now, what, another thing I want you to think about is hold it down for a second. Drop the hip so it's not hiked up. Pull that hip down. So both hips are square. It's gonna make it much more difficult. Holding it here and start again. Press up and down. Give me three more. Two. And one. You're gonna go all the way down to the mat. The leg that was down, bent leg, is now gonna lift out to the side. So we're gonna work that same leg again. Really squeeze it up. Press and press. Now if your wrists start to bother you, option is to just drop right down onto your forearms. Out and out. I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see me here. Squeeze and squeeze. All right. We're gonna get a little fancy with the leg bow. You're gonna kick it out, pull it in. Kick it out, pull it in. Kick it out. Now drop the opposite arm to give your body a little bit more support. I'm gonna show you here what it looks like. Kick it out and pull it in. Big reach, you got it. Big reach, that's it. Kick it out and in. Kick it out. Really reach that leg. Two more. Two. Final one, you hold that leg long, you hold it for three, for two, and one. Give your booty a little shake. I want you to go down to the mat. Give that leg a little stretch. Take a breath here, roll those shoulders back if you need to. Pull that leg in. I really want you to open up the leg that you just worked. So we're gonna take that whole series from the top. That means from the planks. So hug your legs, roll up, and start in the back of the mat. Roll your body down. Walk your hands up. We start with pushing away from that mat, squeezing your inner thighs together. You pull it in and in. Pull that leg all the way into your body. Don't let your body sink. Keep those hips up. Keep pushing away from that mat. Keep breathing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We drop down to our forearms. Pushing away from that mat again. Now that's how we start to pedal our knees. So give them a nice little wiggle. A nice little press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn one arm in. Stack everything up. Reach the top arm up. Lift up that top hip. Hold for five, four, you got it. Three, two, let's turn to the other side. Lift up that arm. Lift up from that bottom oblique. Holding here for five, four, Three, two, really reach it, and one, press up onto straight arms. Hold your plank for eight, seven, six, push away from that mat, four, three, two, walk it back, and roll it up. Grab your weights. I'm gonna go to my lighter set. You can keep it at your heavier set if you want. Arms in, little bend in the knees, take your arms out and in, out and in. Woo! Round two. Make sure to remember what butt you worked last time because we're going to do the opposite butt this time. Reach. I want those arms to extend as long and as straight as you can behind you. Take it eight more here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to go straight arm triceps. That means all the way back, straight and in. Back and in. Reach it back. Good. Reach straight up. Straight down, opening up through that collarbone, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Big range of motion. Four here, three, then you're gonna pulse. Two, hold it up, pulse. Five, up, four, up, three, two, and one. Elbows in, alternate those arms. 
big reach. Now if you can, just like we did previously, you're gonna twist and punch those arms. Punch, punch, punch. With power, take it. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, reach it. Five, four, three, two, one, and one. Lower it down, reach those arms up, and down. Take it up, and down, up, and down. So again, fluid range, no bend in those elbows. Really think of reaching those arms as long behind you as you can. For four, three, two, now we hold it. We're gonna pulse little tiny ones at the top to finish it. Four, eight, seven, keep it up, six, reach it, five, four, three, two, and one. Are you ready? One more set, let's do this guys. Both arms, twist, out, in, out, in. If it gets too heavy, alternate the arms. Press it, if you can do it harder, get those heavier weights. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wrap it behind you. Lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it, up and down, up and down. Let's pulse it, eight, seven, six, five. Keep it up higher, guys. Reach it up, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake out those arms. We're gonna work our balance and our opposite leg. So I did my right leg last time, I'm switching to my opposite leg. One leg is front, one leg is back. Bend the front leg and hinge over that front leg and your other leg is long behind you. Pull everything in, reach your arms either behind you or keep them on your hips, whatever feels good to you. Make sure your hip is not up. Really square your hips down to the mat and you're gonna push off that supporting leg and bend into it. This takes a lot of concentration and a lot of balance. If you, at any time you need to tap that back toe, that's fine. If you want to grab onto a chair or a wall, that's totally fine. If you can do it, everything, whoo, just with balance. Really think of spine long, pushing through the heel of that supporting leg. You're really working that hip, the quad, your calf, your ankle stability. Super awesome exercise. Keep reaching through that back leg. Keep on breathing. You're gonna give me four, and then we're gonna make sure our hips are even. Three, I can't really look at the camera, or else I'm gonna lose my balance, two. <laughs> Hold it down. Square your hips. Press up for eight more. Here we go, eight, seven, one, six, five, four, but it's burning. Three, two, and one. You get down to the mat. That same leg you just worked. You're gonna lift up and pull this mat back. Right to that side, out and in, out and in, that's it. Squeezing up, so it's normal and natural, so maybe your supporting butt might feel it too, but I really want it in the lifting butt. Up and down. You got this. Keep squeezing up through that butt. Let me pick up my pants. Press it out. All right, now we're gonna start to kick out that leg. So drop your opposite arm, give it a kick. Reach it out, oh, ho, ho, ho. that booty is feeling it. Woo. Press, press, keep digging deep, keep reaching that leg long, don't give up. Press it out, almost there, press it out. Give me 10, nine, you got this. Eight, seven, I'll cheer you on, keep it up. Six, kick it five, kick it four, Woo. three, two more guys, two, last one, hold it out. Five, four, three, lift it, two, and one. On your back, cross that leg over. Give your booty a nice stretch. Oh, that feels so nice. All right, hug your legs. We're gonna do some tricep dips. So fingers are gonna be behind you, chest is gonna be open, heels are down, lift up your booty. You're gonna bend your elbows and press right through that chest. If this bothers your wrist, you're gonna stand up, grab your heavy set of weights, and do some tricep presses for me. Just like we did earlier in this video. Bend press, bend press. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a little breath. Roll back those shoulders, roll out those wrists. We're gonna have another set. Tricep dip, so arms behind you, chest is open. Lift up. Your butt is up, so make sure you're not humping your butt. No, no, it's all about the elbows. Bend and press, bend and press. Pushing through that ground, 
opening up your chest to the top. Really wrapping those shoulders back. Give me four. Give me three. Give me two. And one. Take a little breath. Final set. Arms behind you. Butt is lifted. Chest is open. Let's take it down and up. Down and up. Lift that right leg up in tabletop. Four. Three. Two. Switch in left leg. Take it. Four. Three. Two. Final set. Both legs up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stretch out those triceps. Take a second to maybe possibly stretch out your hips and your butt again. I'm gonna put a video down below because I want you to finish off with some abs. So check out the video down below. It's gonna be about a 10 minute ab series. You can do it. We worked out your arms, your plank, your butt, your shoulders, pretty much everything, but I really want you to focus on those abs next. Thank you all so much for joining me, for subscribing, and I will see you next week. And make sure to check out the Sweat Cal. That link will be down below as well. Peace.